Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Big Rig Frosty Gaming. How the heck are ya? Jim Harry, first in the chat, says boo. Well, boo to you too, you little stinker. Now we got Duan Baker in the house, Paul Joseph, Kevin Wilson, Miss Fire Slam says, hey, buddy, what's up? Clonkamo, Forge Farmer. Forge Farmer. I don't think I've ever seen that name in here before. Forge Farmer. Hello. Uh, we got uh, Fred Murphy, Aaron Lader, Jeremiah Marpole. Dawn is back in the house. We got Mia, Aaron Ashlock, EY Blue Dragon, Grumpy Gray, Dennis Giersch, and uh, Nick DeBar wasting no time at all dropping the, uh, the big old $20 super chat. It says, hello, kind sir, Frosty. That is Nick DeBar. Uh, thank you so much, Nick. Appreciate you, mate. Thank you very much, sir. He's even got the little snowman emoji. What's going on, guys? Welcome to Big Rig Frosty Gaming. We're here on the Tahitian County, Iowa series. This is episode three. And uh, we got some uh, field prepping to do. Uh, we are going to be fast forwarding because uh, it is evening time in the game. It's about 5 o'clock in the evening. Uh, but I do want to get one one more field plowed. So what I'm going to do here is a, uh, a... Whatchamacallit, a headland. And then we'll hire a worker to do the rest. That's the plan anyway. And then uh, while the worker's plowing this field... We'll go get started on some of that anhydrous applications on some of our other fields. So yeah, it's going to be like uh, getting the the fields ready for the planting season type of stream tonight. And we are going to feed the pigs, for sure. We are definitely going to feed the pigs this time. Because um, they'll need a little bit of extra food to survive. Uh, what's up, Joe Boyer? Travis Morgan, what's up there, daddy? Uh, we got Jay Graham says, What's up, Frosty? What's going on, mate? Matt Lane, hello. Do answers, Frosty. You should come to Missouri. We're getting 8 to 12 inches of snow. My my kids have no school tomorrow. They're supposed to be down here in the south. We're supposed to get some wicked winds, like super strong 34, 40 mile an hour winds all day long. So they, they close school down uh, just to be safe. Just in case it turns worse than what they're uh, thinking it'll be. So yeah, and there's another heads up. If there, if if I don't go live tomorrow night, it's probably because I have no electricity. Anytime it gets real windy where I live, like the power goes out. Sadly, so uh, yeah. I mean, I plan to stream, but if I don't, that'll that'll explain to you why. It's because of the darn. Uh, the darn high winds will probably knock the power lines out, so. But I'm crossing my fingers it doesn't get that bad. <clears throat> but anyways, how's everybody doing out there? And thank you again, Nick. Appreciate you very much, sir. Ivory Ortega, hello. We got Mike Stilts. Hello to you as well, laddie. <clears throat> but welcome, welcome, everybody. Uh, hello, my friend. My fellow Jack Whackers. What's up, buddy? Jim and Panda Lofts says, hey, hey. What's up, Mike? Mudslinger1983. Hello there, Russ Curry. One stack max in the house. <clears throat> so, uh, episode two of this, towards the end of the last episode of this, we were uh, trying to figure out the whole anhydrous situation. Well, it's all fixed. I got it working. We had to download Anhydrous Precision Ready mod. And you have to deactivate the normal precision uh, farming. You can't have them both activated or the game does not like that. So you have to make sure you deactivate regular precision farming and activate Anhydrous Ready Precision Farming. So we do have that up and running. And we can do the anhydrous just as it would be like a uh, fertilizer application to the fields. So, yeah. It's quite lovely. I do like it. Yeah. It's not bad. 
All right, so here's what we're going to do. <clears throat> I already did a headland. So a hired worker should be able to continue from a starting point here without having to worry about the headland. So let's create ourselves a little route for a hired worker and get ourselves working here. Come on. All right, so number of headlands. Uh, we'll do one because we already did one. Uh, but we're going to go sharp, 10% clockwise generate and we're actually gonna start at the nearest waypoint so hopefully this works let's see what this guy ends up doing <clears throat> hired a worker to start at the nearest waypoint <laughs> He's either going to lose his mind or he's just getting lined up here. I don't know what he's doing. But no matter what he does, I think he'll be staying away from the edge of the field. So we should be fine. And whatever he misses, I'll go over a little bit later. Yeah, yeah, he's got this figured out. So we're going to let him do his thing. And we'll just keep an eye when he's uh, done working. We are going to go hop in the Maverick and run over to the Anhydrous. Uh, set up and start prepping some of those fields. Uh, it's getting down to 16 next week. Guys, today was 40. It's like 45 and a little windy. 45 and a little windy. Not too shabby. Love this little thing. Sounds horrible, though. <laughs> Other than that, it's pretty sweet. <clears throat> All right, let's head over to that other field. Hello, and good day, BFG. Hello, Jack Whackers. What's up, TFA? We got Sean Swarm celebrating 11 months. Yeah, baby. <laughs> 11 months as a Jack Whacker level three. That Sean Swarm. Thank you very much, Mr. Swarm. Hope you're doing well there, buddy. Miss Fireslane, I'm waiting for us to lose power here tomorrow. Yeah, they canceled school for us, too. Yep. So the kids are home tomorrow. All the schools in the in my area, they all got canceled. So, <clears throat> yep, they must be. Uh, they must be. Uh, what you call it? What's the word I'm looking for? Yeah, it's gonna be windy tomorrow. That's that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> There's a word I'm looking for, and I can't think of what it is. Predicting. That's what I meant to say. They are predicting a very windy day tomorrow. So there. All right, so here's our anhydrous setup. Uh, we used it on episode two, and things didn't go too well. But now we got it ready to rock and roll. So we got the big old uh, T7 New Holland with the duels on the back. That'll be pulling the uh, combo. We got the TB60. Uh, this will be like a cultivator hybrid that cultivates and injects anhydrous. So if we look close here... Uh, we got the little uh, hoses going into the uh, cultivator area between the wheels, or whatever you want to call them, disc. Uh, that's going to inject anhydrous. And if anybody wonders what anhydrous is, it's a colorless gas, and it can uh, boost the yield of your, uh, you know, your soil. So yeah, think of it as another way of fertilizing your field. The way I'm doing it is before we plant, it's just going to add a little bit of nitrogen, which is going to save us money on liquid fertilizer after we drill or plant. We'll still have to fertilize, but we won't be using as much fertilizer. All right, so there you go. There's your lesson of the night. Let's fire this bad boy up. Uh, it is getting dark on us. We're just going to finish this field and that field to the left of me. It's like a big square. We'll get these knocked out, and by that time, the plow should be f finished with his field, and then I am going to skip to the next month, and then we'll finish all the other fields after that. All right, so we're fired up. Get our uh, anhydrous ready. Get it activated here. Make sure it's uh, on. Let's 
see here. All right, so it is on right now. Cultivator, you turn on the cultivator unit. It is on. The anhydrous is ready to rock and roll. Oh. Come on, come on. All right, so we should be good. We just gotta drop it. And just like regular precision farming, we have the uh, precision farming menu on the top left. You can see what we're doing. And it's going to inject the fertilizer to where it needs to be. Bottom right corner, you'll see uh, my fertilizer slowly uh, dropping. So it is working. Bottom left map is kind of a hot mess. It's kind of patchy and stuff. But it's working. It is injecting the nitrogen. I think the mini map's just a little jacked up. But the good news is, is it, it is working. So I'm happy about that. And I'll probably go every other row just because this is a tight setup. So let's get our width all set up. 62, 62 foot wide setup here. And we'll get straight route with the GPS steering set up. And we are locked in. We'll have nice straight lines now. <clears throat> All right, let me catch up on some stuff. Uh, let's see. Boy, that thing sounds like a weed whacker. I know, the little Maverick. Yeah, the little side-by-side -side thingy. It's going to be windy. What's up, Ian W from Australia? What's going on there, Lottie? What's up, buddy? Uh, we got Dust Bunny in the house. Rhett Acres with the 30 months. Holy crap. 30 months. This is six months to figure out what icon I can get next. Maybe a fried chicken leg to complete the life cycle. Yes. That's not, that's actually funny. A, a, a golden, a platinum. A platinum or diamond coated chicken leg. I actually like that idea. That's kind of funny. Yeah, I, I need to figure something out for three years. That is crazy. He's going to be one of the first three years uh, guys in the community. That's pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy, bruh. So, yeah, we'll go every other row. Less stress on those uh, tight turns there. Not too bad. Evening, Frosty. What's up, Timothy Boyd? Hello, hello. Elizabeth Sturdy. She finally made it. Hello, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, you make me crack up. You make me laugh so hard. She always thinks that those replays are live. Like, she gets so confused. I feel bad. But at the same time, I, I laugh so hard. Because it's just funny seeing her comments. She's like, Frosty, where are you? Why aren't you responding to my comments? And I'm, liter I'm literally not even there. It's just funny to me. But uh, I'm glad you made it to an actual live stream, Elizabeth. <laughs> All right, let's see. Mr. Fireslane, what's going on there? <clears throat> Dave Clan, hello. Eric says, took me forever to find chat on this tablet. I'm central Missouri. Just a little slushy here, he says. A little slushy, eh? A little slushy. I guess that's not too bad. Slush doesn't hurt anybody, right? All right. That lifted up. We'll go back and hit that last chunk on this field. <clears throat> yeah, the old New Holland's working it right now. There is a huge delay in the stream. I'm just warning you. At least on my end, there's a huge delay. I think. So if it takes me a minute or two to respond to a comment, that's why. It looks like it's very behind. I don't know why. What's up, deer hunter? Brett, hello, hello. Uh, thank you so much, Rhett. 30 months. You're crazy, bruh. 30 months he's been supporting me, chat. That is kind of crazy when you think about it. 30 months of supporting a streamer. That is uh, dedication right there. Nice. All right. Got to be kind of careful backing this up. 
because it's got the little uh, tank trailer on the rear end. Go. All right. Get lined up for our next row here. And drop it like it's hot. <clears throat> All right, we got some anniversaries coming in here. Uh, Richard Thigpen, hello. Big Daddy Llama, good evening to you as well. And hello, Kevin Grant. Uh, we got Channing Hensley also celebrating 15 months. As this has been a long time since he was on Facebook. And I still enjoy all your streams and hope for many more. Well, thank you very much, Daddy. Now look at these anniversaries pouring in, huh? Woo, we see farming again with Frost. That's right, Steve Hennen. Hennen, Hennen. All right, we should only have three more swipes here. Let's hit the center here. Bada bing, bada boom. So what do you think? What do you think of the anhydrous? Put all my fancy lights on my new Holland. Alla. Yeah, I never, I never farm at this time in the evening in in game. Like, I don't let it get this dark out. But it's kind of relaxing. I don't know. What do you guys think? It's not too dark. All right. Let's see if we can grab this final swipe here. All right. I'll have one little crumb to pick up there. Dang it. <clears throat> yeah, you know, it's nice. Uh, plus, Facebook before YouTube this spring will be five years. Well, yeah, we got a ways to go for that. O October would be five years. October of 2024. So, yeah, we're, we're still a pretty good ways away from five years. But, yeah. Yep, you've been here for a while, you crazy man. You put up with me for a long time. <laughs> Uh, me and Lot Serene with the six months of gifteds given to her says, Frosty, your streams are funny and you're one of the best streamers. You better watch your mouth. Uh, we got Jeremiah Marpole with the eight months. Is glad the anhydrous is working now. I am too. That was very frustrating. That w It really was at the end of the other stream because we kept plowing and then going over with the anhydrous and nothing was happening. I was like, what the heck? What the heck's going on here? And uh, it's because we didn't have Anhydrous Ready Precision Mod. So now we do, and it works great. It works good. Just the biggest thing I need to warn you, chat, is if you're going to use this map, Tahitian County, Tahitian County, Iowa, if you're going to want to use Anhydrous, you don't have to, but if you want to do Anhydrous, you have to deactivate regular Precision Farming Mod and download Anhydrous Ready Precision Mod and activate that. You can't activate both of them together or the game will, it's, it, it'll be a hot mess. So uh, just a, a warning, I'm trying to help you out here. I'm trying to help you from rage quitting. So yeah. And the, the place you can get that Anhydrous Ready Mod is I forget. So there you go. Uh, yeah. I think you can get it right from the guy who made this map's uh, itch.io. Uh, DR modding. Like doctor, DR modding. All right, so I think the plow guy's done. And we just did the uh, anhydrous on the two fields I wanted to get done. So we're just going to... Park this up until we fast forward to the next month. And then we're going to have one, two, two big mama fields that are going to need anhydrous. And we'll also have a couple other fields that'll need plowed once we uh, skip to the next month. I'm just going to shut this thing down here. Get all the lights off. She's ready to rock and roll. Let's hop in the Maverick. I love the headlights on this. Look at these headlights. Love that. 
Got the big LED bar. Thanks. Thanks, fancy. It just sounds horrible. The only thing that hurts about this is it sounds like a weed whacker. All right, let me see here. We got Christopher Hanley uh, coming in with the one year anniversary. Christopher Hanley, congratulations to you. Congratulations to me. That's a year of you supporting you. me. Says, what's up, Frosty? What's up, Daddy? Uh, we also got Adam Small with the 13 months of sending love from England. Well, thank you very much, Adam Small from England. Uh, thank you very much, guys. We got a lot of anniversaries coming in. Uh, Cross S uh, hitting us with the $5 super chat. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, Cross S. I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep up with all this stuff happening in the chat. Uh, Nick DeBar says she's a beauty. This is quite lovely. FS22 says, yo. Thank you. Your, your YouTube name is FS22. How'd you pull that off? How'd you pull that off, bro? Uh, hey, Frosty, can I hook up my barbecue to one of those tanks? Oh, yeah. I don't, well, I don't, I don't know if that'd be a good idea, would it? Is anhydrous... Same as propane. I don't know. I don't know if you want to barbecue with anhydrous nitrogen. I don't know. That might be a bad idea. But I, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it is a good idea. I don't know. I have no idea. But yeah, it's not It's not propane. It's anhydrous. Uh, what's up, WD? Uh, howdy, Frosty. Glad I was able to help out. Yes, Dal Family Farms. He was the one that uh, yelled at me brutally and screamed at me and... No, he didn't. He was very nice about it. He said, you need precision anhydrous ready mod. And he was absolutely right. And that's exactly how, how it got fixed. So I appreciate that, sir. All right, let me catch up here. We got Bradley Simmons coming in with a gifted membership. Going to Russ Curry. Congratulations, Russ Curry. And thank you, Bradley Simmons. Thank you very much. Uh, we got Jim Wheaton celebra not celebrating. He's he's sending a five dollar super chat. It says always sisses a good time watching brother. Ah, thank you very much, Jim. Oh chat. <clears throat> you guys missed out on some fun last night on my other channel. Uh, I was on my Pew Pew channel, and Jim Wheaton and Levi Schultz. They were the only two that could get some wins with me on Call of Duty. Um, I think Coopstream and One Stack Mac also played. But we couldn't get wins with those two goofballs. But we did get a win with Jim Wheaton and Levi Schultz. So yeah, they were they were the, the winners last night. <laughs> All right, let's see here. We got Dawn coming in with the 12 months anniversary. Says, to the best streamer that taught me how to play FS22. Now, that's kind of scary. I don't I don't know. If I'm the one who taught you how to play this game, I'm kind of interested at what your farm looks like because it might be a hot mess. It might be a hot mess. What do you think, chat? <laughs> he, he took advice from me to keep a, a farm running. I don't know. I don't know, bro. Uh, but yeah, yeah, Jim Wheaton, he was, he, we had like a two game winning streak last night, maybe three. I think it was only two, but still it was exciting. Uh, what's the other channel on? It's on YouTube, exclamation mark pew pew, and that'll give you the link to it. All right. Hired worker did a decent job. We're just going to move right over to this field. Uh, we're not going to plow yet. We're going to actually shut the old John Deere down. And we're going to head back to the house and fast forward to the next month. Because it's, it's getting a little too dark for me. Alright, but we did manage to get two fields plowed. Or one field plowed and two fields uh, fertilized with the anhydrous. So yeah, let's get some light back in the world and take a nap and sleep all the way till the next month. We're going to like hibernate for a little while. All right, it's hibernation time. All right, 
just leave him right here. <clears throat> and we are we are gonna do this realistically, all right? We're gonna go in our house, which is a mansion. Thing's huge. And we're gonna go to our bedroom, and we're gonna go to bed. All right. This house is bussing, isn't it? I gotta remember where my bedroom's at. At my bedroom. That's my bedroom. All right, we're gonna sleep in till eight in the morning. The month of November. Here we go. Sleepy time. <laughs> All right, let's see here. I was talking about how the equipment worked, not the slow driving, says Dawn. Oh, were ya? Oh yeah? Who said that? Thanks for all you do. Great one, Bradley Simmons, with the 20 months. Nice. There's so many. Yeah, baby. <laughs> so many members that have been here for a long time. Uh, Richard Singer has become. Uh, he's. It says he has become a member. He must have resubmitted his membership. Thank you, Richard Singer. It says hello, Frosty. Here's another one for you. Thanks for making my weekdays the best. Now you, stop it. Sweet little words like that will get me a little overexcited, okay? Now you stop. Thank you, sir. Uh, Dust Bunny says, Mr. Big Rig Frosty Gaming, Google says, and Hydra Simonia is toxic, while propane is non-toxic. I thought so. Who, who just said they were going to strap some barbecue to my anhydrous tanks? That sounds like a, a bad idea. See, I was right about that. That is not a good idea, chat. Do not do that. If there's any kids listening, do not put an anhydrous tank on your grill. That is not how we grill burgers in the U.S. At least I don't. Uh, what's up, Big Mike Sr.? <laughs> Abraham Mendez, good evening. Uh, we got uh, Kendall Yoder says, howdy, Frosty in chat. Hope everyone had a good day. What's going on, bruh? How's it cracking light, man? Uh, Frosty, we miss you. Please come back. Is that, that can't really be Facebook gaming. Uh, Texas Beach Bum says, I took advice from Frosty once, and now my farm looks like a mess. I just want, see, that's what I was... That uh, Yeah. Yeah, what did Don say? Don, Don, Don. I just read something. He said... Dang it. I missed what he said. I was talking about how the equipment worked not the slow driving oh so you learned how the equipment worked not how to drive professionally okay Ooh, even the oh look at that little monitor that fires up when you start this thing that is cool cool little cool little running around machine on the farm right all right we're actually gonna fast forward time like another hour get that sun up in the air a little more we're in the month of November. Actually, that's that's perfect right there. Beautiful. All right. Can you guys see a little better now? Much better. All right. Yeah. Ugh. Sounds like a leaf blower. <laughs> like, that doesn't sound good, does it? Uh, Matthew Walter, did you live stream on last Friday night? I did not. Basketball. I usually, my son has basketballs on Friday. Basketball on Fridays, not basketballs on Friday. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, here we go. Back to the anhydrous. Uh, actually, no, not quite yet. My bad. We'll get back to the anhydrous. We need to uh, get the plow set up. We'll do another headland on the other field and then hire a worker. So we'll do that first. Sounds like a dr Yeah, it does sound like a drone. My anniversary as well, says Ian W. Is it? What? And what anniversary? 10,000 bees coming at you from... Yeah, it sounds like a bee swarm. All right, so here's the one we just plowed a little bit ago in the month of October. Now we're in November. Some of the weeds are popping through the fields uh, that need plowed, which is why we're going to plow. Fire up the old ADAR. And get a headland done. 
Then we'll hire a worker to finish it, eh? And that, then we can hop back over to the anhydrous. But up and down, up down. All right, so we'll be fighting this little fence line here. Did I clear it? Oh, close enough. Not bad, not bad. All right, there we go. Very nice. Very lovely. We got Scooter's workbenches. Hey, Frosty. What's up, Scooty Pooty? They nailed the idle sound on the Maverick, but when you get on the gas. Oh, is that the, yeah, the idle sound sounds great. It's like, blah, 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 blah. But then once you start going, it's like, what? Did I just fire up a, like a diesel powered drone and now it's working on the battery? Like, what's up with that, Mike? All right, precision plowing here. Oh, you hit those corners, baby, like a pro. Get her done. I love crop destruction. Look at all our tire marks from the uh, previous harvest and the baling and stuff. Isn't that cool? That's one thing I like about the uh, crop destruction being on. It just adds a little more layer of realism, seeing all the tire marks everywhere and... I like that. I like that a lot. We also have to head across to that little baby field over here. But we'll do that later. I just want to get the headland done on this big boy here. First. Yeah. Good, mine. Such a good map, isn't it? I didn't, I really, I honestly didn't think I was going to like playing on a bigger map. But I, this is the only map I really want to play on at the moment. So that's why we've been only playing on this map lately. Since I got back from uh, the holidays, this is like, that. this is the one. So if you don't like it, I'm so sorry. But I really like it. I kind of think it's cute. It looks good. Feels good. And it's just, it's good. Yeah, we'll probably be on this for a little while till I get sick of it. Uh, hey, Frosty Brian says hi. Who says hi? Brian. Oh, Brian Lima. He says, uh, f I'm fine. Tell. Oh, what's up, Brian Lima? What's up, buddy? Hello, hello, sir. And hello, Kevin Flores. I saw you as well. These custom shaped fields are pretty cool. They're fun to uh, work on instead of just back and forth. You got like these obstacles. I like it. Any survival map this week? Uh, Alan, I, I literally just got done saying that I, I like this map a lot. I like that. I don't know if you didn't hear me say that, but I literally just said, I like this map a lot. I'm probably going to be on it a lot for a while. I don't know if you caught that part, bro. Bruh, as my son would say. Bruh. Bruh. I need to make a bruh sticker. What do you think? We need one. <laughs> All right, let me see here. Just delete the fence. Oh, I I might. I already have deleted quite a bit of fences on this map, but. All right, I hope I read off all the, uh, I know I did. I got all the anniversaries. Uh, thank you again, Bradley Simmons for the $5 super chat. Jim Wheaton as well. Uh, Cross, thank you guys for those super chats. And thank you for all those anniversaries. Thank you very much, everybody. All right. But this is the part. You know what? We could almost get away with hiring a worker, to, a normal worker. Nah, that's kind of scary. Uh, let's just hire a uh, course play worker. <clears throat> All right, let's see here. One headland sharp clockwise, 10%. Nope. Oh, they really got it going at an angle? Why? Why would they have it going at a weird angle like that? All right, we'll do a uh, nearest waypoint. I can already tell I'm going to have to uh, <laughs> delete the fence. So let's do that real quick. 
fence is kind of pointless for me anyway. Yeah, yep, he's about to run into it right now. And it says he completed his task. What a what a dumb way to set up the route, huh? I guess I gotta change the way that is. Alright, that's good enough. Alright, so my hired worker quit on me already, so that's great. We might end up just doing this ourselves, chat. All right, you can force a zero angle if you want. You can try. You can try longest edge on the course play. Longest edge. Because <clears throat> I like the way I had that set up minus the tilt. All right, let's see here. Start work on the headland now. Field up down. Spiral, racetrack, lands, up, down. Up, down angle is already at zero. You can force a zero angle if you want. Isn't that what this means right here? Zero, up and down, zero. Uh, let's generate it one more time, see what it does. Hmm. 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 Yeah, that didn't seem to work, did it? I'll just do another headland. <laughs> Maybe another headland will fix it so it has more room to turn around. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. These are the things I have issues with that I'm not good at when it comes to the uh, the scripted stuff. Uh, have you delivered any dry corn to the ethanol plant yet? No, I'm waiting for the price to be right. I think uh, January, uh, we have like a quarter million liters in, in storage just waiting for the price to be right, and then we going to be rich. Because right now, we only got $23,000 on us. So it's a little skimpy. We're a little low on the dough. So, yeah. Uh, change your up-down direction. My up-down direction. Okay. Well, I guess it won't matter now, huh? Because I'm doing a, a another headland. <laughs> uh, but uh, I'll try it on the next one I do. Uh, Scooter's Workbench coming in with the 10-month anniversary. Says, <laughs> don't forget mine. Well, thank you very much. Scooter's workbench with the 10 months. Thank you very much, Daddy. You have to change it from automatic to manual to get it to work at the zero angle. Oh. Okay. All right, let's investigate. Once I uh, do this little chunk right here, and I get back up to the other area, we'll uh, test that out real quick. All right, so let's get up here, and we'll start from scratch. Eventually, I'll learn some of this stuff. What's up, Pleasant View Farms? Hello. Howdy, Jacob Kulbertson. Uh, How is the van dealership treating you? Raya's Jeep. Bruh, sticker is a must. Is that Raya? Or is that someone being weird and calling themselves Raya's Jeep. I'm confused now. What's up, Fent Farmer? <laughs> How's it going, Daddy? All right, I do want to do this last little lap here, right just up to the end of this row, and then uh, we'll see how that all works. <clears throat> uh, you might as well finish the field now. You only have, I, I know, but I need to test it out. I need to test it out. I left a narrow spot right here. That'll be our uh, guinea pig row. All right, so let's pretend we started fresh. We did a headland, yada, yada. All right, we're going to go to no course. We're going to do direction longest edge. 
Okay, so someone said longest edge. Either way, I turned off manual, so we got that figured out. I just want to generate and see what it looks like. Please don't crash. Okay. See, that's still putting it all at an angle, so I'm going to not do longest edge. Uh, we're going to do manual at zero. Ah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so manual and like Scooty Workbench said, zero degree angle. So that's probably, I, I, I imagine that means it's going to be whatever direction you're faced every time and go back and forth. All right, and then nearest waypoint. I think that's going the right direction. You can force it up and down at zero degrees. 90 degrees is the opposite direction. And four. Like, what's he doing right now? Like, what? Oh, what What are you doing? Oh, he's going all the way over here. I don't want him to go there. I didn't say I wanted him to. Okay, so I know what happened here. Yeah, that's not a big deal. I can fix that. Dude. So all we're going to do is turn around here and But I still have it set up where it's going to hit that stinking fence and the poles. But we should be good if we line this up like this. Yes. All right. Cool. So the headlands out of the way now. Now it's going to go back and forth, and it should be good. I just want i just want to watch it for a little bit, make sure she's doing her job. You have him going off first waypoint? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we got it all figured out now. Uh, I didn't know about manual. That's, yeah, I didn't know. Well, I, did, I knew, but I didn't ever try it at Kazi. So now I learned something. I told you. I tell you guys. Every time I play this stinking game, as many times as I've played it, the um, crazy amount of hours I've Thanks put into this sun. game, I still learn something new every time I play it. And I'm that's mainly because there's you guys in the chat that have knowledge of certain things that we don't all know about. There's always something that someone knows about to help you out. That's th that's what makes live streams great, because everybody can learn a little something from each other. Uh, but yeah, this is perfect. Yeah. We don't have nothing to worry about now. Plenty of room to turn around, because they're going to be turning right after they finish this. I think. Maybe not. I thought they'd be turning by now. Okay, they're gonna back up. And I think I also have it set to uh, not run into obstacles. Which, it did perfect. All right, we're good. I don't have to worry about this guy anymore. All right, good to go. Now we can get back to uh, Anhydrus. All right, let me see here. Let me read some stuff. Fent Farmer, you missed out on some Call of Duty last night, you jackwhacker. Uh, Clark says, course play doesn't account for work done in the field prior to you setting up the course on the field. Therefore, it'll always do all the field. That's right, Daddy. Uh, what else we got? Just let him go. Hello, Joshua. Waylon Timlick, Hello. Frosty, we've been dealing with the strong winds all day down here in Louisiana, sending it up the... I heard our schools are all canceled for the kids and everything. So, yeah, it's serious. It must be... Oh, look at him go there. Yeah! Look at that. That's pretty. I have some fresh, ripped-up soil. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, really nice. This thing sounds like it's just got something wrong with it. All right. Back to Anhydrus.
I don't need no lights on. It's middle of the day. All right, let's head over to the big mama field. <clears throat> this field's quite hefty. And anhydrous, we will be doing this manually. We'll use GPS steering, but other than that, uh, we're not going to hire a worker for this. I don't need those tanks getting all jacked up with the uh, cultivator. You know what I mean, Vern? All right, and we're activated. We're ready to rock and roll. I love hearing the little airplanes go by. The bush planes. Ah, oh, what's up, Mugs? Mugs Meshling. Now there's a name I haven't seen in a while. Mugs Meshling. Holy moly. I have not seen that name in who knows how long. How the heck are you, Mugs? My goodness. Whoo, it's been a long time. Anybody shocked by the first quarter of the national championship? That is not how I saw this game going. I don't even know who's playing. <laughs> Tells you how much I know. Yep. I haven't been following college, that you're talking college football, I imagine. Yeah, I have no idea. All right, we do have another darn fence line to fight with, so we got to make sure we're set up nice here. All right. All right, laddie. And we'll go ahead and set up our GPS steering. I'll be going back and forth this way once we get our headland done. Ooh, the neighbors got some corn ready to harvest. I don't own that field. That's a neighbor's field. Looks pretty fresh. Doing great, Miss Oz. I haven't seen you forever, buddy. I'm glad to have you in the chat. Hope you're doing well. <clears throat> it's not on. You aren't dropping fertilizer. Are you stinking kidding me? Son of a big old nipple. My goodness. Turn on cultivator. Oh my goodness, Chad. I had the wrong stinking section activated. Ah, dang it. Whatever. All right, so some of the field's not going to be fertilized. <laughs> Son of a biscuit head. Dang it! It's too much to remember with all this fancy equipment. I'm used to that old school stuff where you just drop it and go. It's too much. It's too much for me to, too much for me to juggle. I can't handle it, chat. It's too stressful. There we go. <laughs> Hang on. Thanks, Arna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you mean now. I uh, guess college thought it would be back and forth all night. Oh, is it a blowout or something? Paul Edward Detweiler. Good evening, sir. How goes it? There we go. Now she's on. We'll just have a couple... We'll just have that one area that's not... Um, that's not a big deal, right? It's all good, baby. Yay, my comment helped. Yeah, a little late, but I got it. <laughs> Eventually. All right. 11 months anniversary. I... Uh, let me see. I put it in after Red Acres. Wow, I'm getting there to keep up the great streams and your Pew Pew channel. Thank you. Thank you, E and W. Yeah, yours didn't come through on the uh, alerts. That's weird. All right, here we go. Now we'll start going back and forth here. Ah, 
we'll make some stripes. So about a half turn should get me to the next row. Yep. There you go. Just a half turn on the new Holland, and we got our little stripe effect going here. I just bought a brand new farm and simulator setup. Ooh. What all did you get, Aaron Kidder? Does anybody watching right now, even if you don't like talking much, are, is there anybody in here that bought that new farming wheel? There's like a new farming wheel for farm sim, like specifically for farm sim. And it comes with like the old dashboard and all that. Does anybody have it? I just, I just haven't heard anything about it. Like anybody, like what they think about it, if they like it or not. I ain't paying that much. I know that. But uh, I was just curious if anybody ended up getting it or not. I don't know, Scooter. I don't know. Maybe I'm going too fast. I noticed if I go slow, like the proper speed, it does it fine. Uh, but you know me, when I'm streaming, I like to get things done. So we are going faster than you normally would with a uh, cultivator and anhydrous. We're going like 14 mile an hour right now. So maybe it's just because of that, it's not putting down the application properly on the map. But I don't think it's affecting the actual ground. I don't know. Nitrogen's at 120, 190. You know, it's putting it in there still. Might have to do another lap up this way so we have more room to turn around. There we go. Best PC to get for farm sim? <clears throat> I, I don't know. That's 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 a debate right there. Who knows? I've heard about it. I'm using my G920. Yeah, that's what I got, Gary. Yep. I can't stand it either. I can't stand the, the Logitech 920. I loved my Logitech G27. That was... An awesome wheel. Solid. Great. I can't stand this one. It's all because of the G-Hub. That's the only reason I don't like it. The G-Hub's complete garbage. But the wheel's nice. And they make you buy the shifter and uh, separately, which is makes zero sense. I don't know why companies do stupid stuff like that. Um, the G27 and everything came in a package together. But, uh, I don't know. And this one of those maps that the red arrow in the field have a barrel of cash below it. Oh, I didn't check that. Nah. I don't think the guy who made this map, I don't think he's the type to do that silly stuff. This is straight up realism here. But I'll check. If there's a cash, if there's a bucket full of cash, I'm going to grab it. <laughs> Uh, let's see. And it will be here Wednesday, says Aaron Kidder. Let me read. What did Aaron Kidder get? Did he put what he got? Aaron Kidder, Aaron Kidder. I just bought a brand new farming simulator setup. Okay. And then did he say what he got? No. He just said it'll be here on Wednesday. Okay. Scooty says the Hori farming wheel. Yeah, the Hori. H O R I. Scroft just did a video on that new wheel and set up his big takeaway was cool, has potential, but it, yeah, it's plastic. And you can see that clearly in the video. It's just, it's like the other farm sim wheel, a lot of plastic. <laughs> like Logitech and Thrustmaster, like they make weighted, like it feels real. So that's one thing, uh, like if you're going to pay that amount of money, I'm, I'm going to want... I'm going to want quality, you know what I mean? Uh-oh, our plow guy's stuck. We're going to have to take a time out here. 
our plow guy got blocked on something, but now it's not saying he's blocked. So he either quit or he fell in the river. Where's he at? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Woo, he almost got hit by the by the train. Yeah, he's 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 stuck all right. It's that stupid fence. Silly, silly fence. These fences are kicking my butt, guys. Oh, I don't want to hit the train. Yeah, let's just get rid of it. Nothing but a pain in the booty. Was that really Raya that was in here earlier? Does he have, a, like, another profile that's Raya's Jeep, or is it just some weirdo that called himself Raya's Jeep? Anybody know for, sh for sure? Because he never told me he had another profile. I figured that's something he would have told me about. <laughs> but I know he's got some oddballs in his chat that like to uh, make, whatchamacallit, profiles that mimic him. So I don't know if that was really him or not. Ah, <laughs> uh, Rhett, 10 second. Ah, that's good. I got a Thrustmaster shifter, says Gary. Uh, let's see. I could not get the old style to work for me, so I got the G920. Yeah, I love the G27. That was a very, very good wheel. I still have it, actually. It's my backup wheel in case uh, this one bites the dust. But yeah, it was a good wheel. It was not Raya. It's oh no, that explains everything. Okay, never mind. I figured it wasn't him. Who who names their profile Rise Jeep? That's just weird, Mike. You're weird. I love you, but you're a weirdo. All right, so that's all plowed. I need to cross the tracks and plow this little section here also. I don't know if this is considered. This is a separate field. This is field 147. And it's super tiny. So we'll just knock this out real quick. And then we'll get back to the anhydrous. <laughs> Fent Farmer, it is a pretty map. It really is nice. Definitely has the American vibes. Yeah. That'd be nice. I should turn this... No. No. Nah, I was going to say, I could make this a grass field, but all my grass uh, equipment is up at the pig pig fattening barn location. I ain't driving all that stuff all the way over here. So we'll just continue using this as like an extension to that field is how I'm looking at it. Whatever crops in that big one will be the same crop that'll be in this little one. I got bored easily and do odd things to keep myself occupied. I guess so. Hey. You're not the only weird one in here. I'm right there with you, buddy. But that is weird, I'm just saying. <laughs> That's a bit weird. But at the end of the day, we're all weird and guilty of it. Uh, I, is there a dairy farm on this map? Ye yeah, there's everything. All the, there's, well, I don't know if there's everything, but yeah, there's uh, sheep, chickens, Pigs, cows, horses. Yeah, there's all the animals on here. Uh, I'm only using pigs at the moment until uh, we have more money. We are over a million dollars in debt. I gave myself a little challenge. But yeah, we're pretty much just uh, crop farmers and hog farmers. We got like 120 hogs fattening fattening barn down the road and they'll start making babies and that'll turn into a bigger operation as we go but all the soybean we harvested is pretty much what's going to feed the the pigs for now until uh, we get some other crops grown and ready to harvest in the in the near future A gaming PC cost starting at 1K or just over 2K? That's that's completely right. Yeah, PC prices are anywhere from 400 to 
thousands and thousands of dollars. It just depends what you're putting in it and how much money you got in that bank account that you want to spend on one. <clears throat> I'm going to change mine to Raya's 70s mustache. There you go. Yeah, he looks good with the mustache. It's a little weird at first, just seeing him without the big beard, but yeah. He's, he's, he's got that Tom Selleck vibe going. Yeah, that's what I that's what I said the first day I saw him with it in his stream. I I typed uh, hashtag Tom Selleck. Blue Bloods. All right, all the plowing is done. I got all my corn fields that we harvested plowed. We can uh, go put this back in the barn. Get this all sprayed down. Boys. You get a weird major delay, huh? Yeah. The chat delay was pre pretty bad a little bit ago, but I don't know if it synced up again. I don't know. It's YouTube being YouTube, I guess. All right. Frosty, you could use that small field for a root crop. Eh, I think corn's going to be a big a big crop on this map because of the ethanol plant. We can make some big bucks with the ethanol plant. So, But I also want to rotate crops, so we probably won't put corn right back into it. Um, yeah, we'll have to see. I'll, I'll take a look at the prices and see what crops pay good. <clears throat> all right she's all clean yeah let's take a look real quick come on all right so i just want to see what our best crops are in this map we got wheat at 732 barley at 680 oats at 1157 oats are in the lead canola at 1312 Sorghum 943, sunflowers at 1450, soybeans $2,200 in July. That is a crap load of money right there. Uh, corn is at 909, but we have dried corn. So if we scroll way down here, uh, when you dry the corn, you get a lot more out of it. You get about close to $1,400, and that's what we've been storing. Uh, for the month of January. We'll make a big chunk of money on that. There's also rye. Uh, that's a custom crop in this map that pays 1100 bucks. And then we got narrow soybean. Uh, one stack, Mac, did you end up doing narrow soybean or just regular soybean? Yeah, he looks good with the mustache. Uh, what's up, Kaler Farms? A little late. Did we get the anhydrous? Yes, anhydrous is working. So, sort of. It works, but on the map, it's all patchy. But I think that's because I drive too fast. So that I don't think it's anybody's fault but my own. Um, silage corn, blah, blah, blah. Corn stalks. Fermented cornmeal. CCM. Fermented cornmeal pays $2,300. Dang. So how do I go about the fermented cornmeal? Wouldn't that be using a silage harvester? Or a forage? Wouldn't I use a forage harvester and harvest the corn in the silage mode to make fermented cornmeal? So, so see how there's silage corn? There's an actual silage corn. I don't know. I'm sure somebody knows. I haven't planted. I don't know what all you can do with narrow, but feed pigs. Oh, I got lots of pigs. So that would work out pretty good. We are kicking butt tonight. We got all my fields plowed that needed plowed. And then we just got those two big mama fields to finish up with the uh, the anhydrous. And then we are all caught up on field work.
All right, let's get this parked back in the garage. Ooh, actually, I think, yeah, we'll park this in here. We got plenty of room. We might be using this tractor again tonight if we get to uh, drilling. Shut her down there. We might be hooking her up to that bad boy. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Hello, Frost. What's up, Andrew? Good evening, WH. Hello, hello. Yes, mate. I have Xbox X Series. Could use the small fuel for potatoes. I don't know if I want no potatoes. That's what you get. That's what you get, uh, Mike Huth, for uh, changing your name. Now you're stuck with that for 14 days. That's what you get. Ah, uh, you tricked me, though. I thought it was really him there for a minute. Uh, we got Kevin Flores coming in with the $5 super chat. Says, what did you have for dinner, Frosty? Can someone give me an idea for dinner? I'm ordering out. I'm actually on a, on, on a uh, liquid fast. So I'm only doing liquids for as long as I can keep myself from going insane. So today was soup. And just been drinking liquids. And this, I'm on, what are we, what are we at now? 20. I'm on 30 hours. I'm on 30 hours straight on liquids so far. And I feel pretty good. Played basketball twice with my son today. Still had the energy. Just been uh, doing liquids only. So, yeah. I'm going to see how long I can do. And I've already lost three pounds. And only one day, <laughs> but that's probably just water weight. I, I don't know. You know how it works. But anyways, I'm, I'm challenging myself to a uh, liquid fast for as long as I can go. All right, so anhydrous. Let's get back out there. and Oh, let's check that bucket and see if it's got any cash in it. There ain't no cash in these buckets, bro. Nope. No cash in the bucket. Get back at it. Oh, I left it running the whole time, too. All right. Anhydrous, I believe, is on. Yes, it's already on. All we got to do is drop it. Keep on trucking. Uh, it's liquid. You must be old. I just, I just cleaning out the organs, you know. Uh, thinking of purchasing a joystick to use loader and skid loader. Any issues with anyone doing so wanted to ask beforehand um i mean if you're good with joysticks farm sim is compatible with them i'm not good with the joysticks i have the t the thrustmaster t sixteen thousands or whatever they call i got the dual ones one sitting right here but i'm horrible with it and yeah, they look like this I don't know if you can see that very good, but. And I don't know how much they are. I've had them for a while. It's probably not as much as they used to be. But yeah, it's definitely uh, doable. You'll, you'll have to do a lot of key binding, I think. Uh, so if you have the patience for that, then yeah, you probably have a good time with some joysticks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Especially for forestry. I know a lot of... Uh, like Oregon Trees Gaming, he loves using the joysticks for uh, forestry. What am I doing right? See, I messed it all up. I messed up my little pattern I had going. Dang it. Forgot how wide this bad boy is. All right, let's try this again. There we go. There we go. You see? You see right there? It's not too bad now, is it? Mm -hmm. Very nice. <clears throat> uh, barbecue, Kevin. <laughs> yeah, wings. There you go. Get some wings. Those look identical to the other maps that have them, says Clark. All the bucket with the money in them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these ones ain't got no money in them, though. You would have to use the landscaping tool and dig down. That is about the same price. Let's see. What's up, Brian Mack? Barely saw you sneak in there. What's up, sir? How you doing, buddy? 
Yeah, sorry if I miss comments. I try to I try to say hello to everybody, but sometimes I miss them. I swear it's not intentional. Ow, I missed one little smidgen back there, dang it. <clears throat> there we go. Key binding is the biggest pain, but when that is all... Yeah, yeah, the key binding is a little rough. Yeah. You're welcome, Garrett. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know how much the Thrustmasters are now. They were kind of pricey when I bought them, but that was, and I even bought them after they had been out for a while. But they make quality stuff. The only products I've ever used is Thrustmaster and Logitech. Anything else, I couldn't give you any advice because I've never tried it, so. I've never, like, used a Ferrari, the Ferrari wheel brand, and, uh, yeah. So I, I wouldn't be much help with advice on other brands. Hello, Ian Oppenheim. Who are you? What's going on there, sir? Has anybody hit the like button yet? We got 235 viewers. Welcome to Big Rig Frosty Gaming. Uh, if it's your first time here, we are on a map called Tahiton County, Iowa, and that is by DR Modding. Uh, beautiful map based in Iowa. It's got some big old fields. All these fields I've been working on are actually used to be one ridiculous big field. So I put my own little uh, gravel roads in and cut them up a little bit just so I can not have one massive field uh, just for streaming purposes anyway so I can jump around and do other things <clears throat> but a uh, beautiful map highly recommend it I keep hearing rumors that people are having all these issues and things not working I haven't had any issues yet except for my own self not downloading uh, anhydrous ready precision mod other than that I haven't had any like issues that would be the fault of the modder like everything seems fine uh it is a very demanding graphic map it's high like it's it's gonna work your pc out if you don't have a good pc then you might want to just stay away from this one because it's high detail it is gonna take a hit on the graphics card so another warning for you there but yeah it's awesome i like it it reminds me of a UMRV, Upper Mississippi River Valley. It's got those type of details to it. Very cool. <clears throat> uh, what's up, John Giblin? How's it going, buddy? See, I should have done the edges one more time. I should have done one lap. I should have done two laps. And then I wouldn't have all these little smidgens I'm missing. Oh, you can see where... Okay, see that, chat? See how right near my tractor it's not dark soil? That's when I did that lap without the uh, anhydrous on. <laughs> So that's why that looks that way. Yeah, I messed up. I ain't nothing new there, Daddy. <clears throat> Won't be the first time, and I guarantee it will not be the last. I'm very forgetful. I have the Logitech X56 joystick for flight sim. Yeah. I have an old... Logitech stick. I don't even know what it's called. It's super old. It's back when I played the original Microsoft Flight Simulator. I still have it. I think. Yeah, I think I have that somewhere. I, I used the crap out of that. It was just a single joystick, and I'd, I'd fly the big commercial airplanes with just the one stick, 
I had it all key binded the best I could anyway. And there is a little smidgen right here I missed. got to go hit this couple swipes here and then I got that big mama field over there to do but we will take a time out after we finish these two swipes and we'll go uh, feed the pigs their second load of uh, soybean because they're probably getting a little low on food I sure did Mike I sure did Thank you, Duane, for reminding me. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. uh, da, 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 da. I started a new map this weekend on the mud hop, mod hub called Sunrise. I'm starting with only vegetables and potatoes. <laughs> so if I know Rhett, he is definitely not using an in-game harvester for root, root crops. There's no way that he's doing that. So yeah, he's saying, yeah, I'm using root crops only, but he is not telling you that he probably has the Papa Smurf harvester that he can do those fields in about 20 minutes. So he's, he's leaving that part out, chat. I know Rhett, there's no way he's using a stock harvester to do root crops. Right, right, that's right. Just saying, and I don't either. That's, that's painful using the end game stuff. <clears throat> Tornado Lauderdale real quick. There's dozens of videos. You can see my condo in the background. Are you kidding me? I heard I heard rumors about a tornado, and I always just like, eh, I don't know if that's real or not. So down where you are is an actual tornado going through there, huh? A series of storms. Uh, we had a tornado down on the street Saturday. Wow. Wow. You need to post some uh, pictures of that, Ian, in uh, the Discord. Show us some pictures of the damage in the area. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know if I trust a hired worker to do the big field over there, chat. <laughs> I don't know. No, there's no way. They'd be all over the place. You think? If there's a fence over here, there is absolute no way. I don't know. Maybe they could pull it off. How about... We yeah, we'll come back to this later. Did I turn it off? Yes, I did. All right. I'm going to shut her down. So this will be the last field that needs anhydrous application. <clears throat> now I could figure out what I'm going to plant over here and get someone working on that but that's not much fun is it and I could get a cultivator going on those cloud fields see got me thinking a lot now chat I'm thinking way too much <clears throat> how much horsepower do I need for that bad boy let's see here I need 300 horsepower and So the 335 could handle it. But that would be probably pushing it too. Yeah, none of these other tractors can really handle that. Uh, what about my big boys? Yeah, we could get the old Challenger hooked up to it. That'll definitely be enough power, right? <clears throat> There she is, sitting in there looking all pretty. What a pretty little tractor. That pretty chat. I 
That's why you don't have more than one of the same thing. Uh, they're calling for EF2 or greater here for tomorrow. I hope not. Even I use in-game harvesters for root crop, and I'm on Eureka. He's lying if he says he is. A modded harvester is correct. Uh, correct. In fact, two. I knew it. I knew Rhett was using two modded ones. Yeah. Yeah, I knew it. All right, we don't need the uh, chaser bin. Let's drop that back where it was. Alright, let's hook up to the cultivator. Or it's a mulching disc harrow. But there's nothing to mulch, so it's just gonna cultivate the plowed field for us. Alright, get her unfolded. Now that we got that fence out of the way, it should be okay. Maybe not. I don't know. All right, let's see how this works out for us. Uh, course generator settings. What is going on right now? Oh, because I have it on custom. What is going on here? Is it because I'm not completely on the field, or...? Uh... Oh. Never mind. Ignore me, chat. I'm losing it. A uh, number of headlands. We'll do two headlands. And we'll do manual. And let's just see what she looks like when I uh, generate this. Come on, game. You can do it. Don't explode. This map, this map does not like course play. Okay, took her a while, but she got it figured out. All right, cool. So the only thing that I'm going to be nervous about is that fence along the road. Everything else should be no problem at all. And we'll start at the first waypoint. We're just going to follow it for a minute and make sure it doesn't get hung up on the fence. If it does, I'll, I'll delete the fence. Uh, just curious, Frosty, is it considered in-game if you get it from the mod hub and put in the game? Uh, no, in-game to me it means that it's already in the game. It's not in the mod hub. It's not a mod at all. It's just in the game. It's what the game came with equipment-wise. Okay, he backed up on his own to start. Nice, nice. There's no way he's going to turn and not get stuck. All right, he's trying. He's trying his best. He's trying to figure it out. He's probably getting ready to quit on me. The rage is settling in to the AI worker. Yeah, he's about to do it again. He'll be quitting any moment. Let's try not to let him quit. Let's just take out that fence. can already tell it's going to be an issue. Yep. Jeez. These fences are, uh, they're pretty. They look awesome, but they're, they're kind of a pain in the butt. There we go. Get this little area here. All right, that should be pretty much all of that. And look, he's fine now. 
Beautiful. Now that's what I'm talking about, laddie. Look at that. Look at that nice seed bed. They call that a seed bed right there. Plowed. Lightly cultivated. Nice and fresh and ready for a drill or a planter to go right over that and put some fresh crops in, baby. But that's what I'm talking about. Come on. All right. So that's good. Yeah, look how fresh. Hmm. Woo, baby. pH is horrible, though. <clears throat> All right. So we can go feed the little piggies. We'll fire up the old Canworth here. Ah, she sounds pretty. All right, and I'm just going to show you the uh, pig situation. That's all we own right at the moment. Uh, reproduction's already 25% there, so... Give it a few more months and they might start popping some babies out. Uh, daily food intake as of now is 7,300 liters. They're down to 12,000. So they could survive another month, but we're going to go take another load just to be safe. So off we go. Pull out right in front of that guy. Everything should be fine. Beautiful. Oh, even the neighbors uh, cultivated their field. Got it looking all pretty. What's up, Mr. Red Taco? <clears throat> Don't scratch the cat. I won't. Uh, hey, Frost, just a quick peek before my sleep. I'll catch the replay during my breakfast. I uh, hope you're doing good and that you had a great weekend. I did, Fozzie. I did. I did, and thank you for stopping in before you go night-night. All right, sleep tight there, laddie. It holds 500,000. It's in-game. Yeah. Oh, you're using the Reaper. No, there's not one that's in the game that holds 500,000. Yeah, you're using a mod from the mod hub. Not nothing in-game holds barely anything. So yeah, if you get something from the mod hub, that's considered a mod. Yep. And it sounds like you're probably using the Reaper Harvester, and that holds a lot. Yeah. Right. I'd put the tarp on, but the tarp looks all wacky. The crop cuts through the tarp, so we're just running with the tarp off. See? That doesn't look very good now, does it? So, tarp off. This map works fine on my... Does it? Good. Good, good, good. Ohio farmer a lot says hi. He farms a lot in Ohio, I'm guessing. What's up, buddy? How are you doing, sir? Welcome, welcome. Zach Ryan, hello. Yeah, base game. Base game is just whatever the game came with, equipment-wise. Yep. Anything else is from the Mod Hub or a third-party website. Uh, like, this map is not from the Mod Hub. You gotta go to the actual itch.io website to get it. From uh, DR Modding's itch.io. Woo, we're struggling. This load's uh, bogging us down. It's a colossal harvester pack. Yep, that's from the mod hub. Yep. The engine brake sounds awesome on this track. It's not very good. Let's get a close up on it. You ready? Not bad. Wouldn't mind it being a little louder, though. But yeah, it sounds good. All right, we're almost there. It's a nice little drive to the uh, pig fattening barn, but we're almost there. A couple turns and we'll be there.
Oh, Scooter, Scooter's Workbench, his arch enemy is in the chat. Ohio Farmer says, I hate Case. Go, John Deere. Oh, you just made Scooter Workbench's skin shrivel up. Oh, you made him mad. He's boiling. Oh, you just made him so mad saying that. <laughs> now, me personally, I like it all. I like all the com all the different brands. Ooh, neighbor's got got something pretty growing there. What's he got growing? The neighbor's farm here. Ah, oh, he's got soybeans going in. Yeah, it looks pretty. Fresh and so clean. Not bad, bruh. Yeah, it looks pretty. I love that first and second growth stage when it's all bright and sprouting. It looks so good. All right, here's our turn. Pig fattening barns are right up there on the left. And I couldn't remember the trailer that I need to get. This is not the trailer I wanted. It works, but... So I had to put some little ramps in, which aren't probably very realistic, but it's what I have to work with at the moment until I can remember where the heck I found that one trailer I used to have that had a much longer uh, output uh, pipe. This one's too short. So we'll have to do the old <laughs> back it up the ramp. Settled on pie orange chicken fried rice and extra sauce on the side. Barbecue joints close at 9 p.m. my time. There's a tornado coming for us. Uh, yeah, it might be heading my way too. Are you saying your pipe is too short? On in the air it is. I knew somebody would say something. All right, let's get this up in there. <laughs> oh gosh. Turning into the Raya stream here. Stop it, chat. Enough with the uh, inappropriate behaviors. <laughs> Case. All right, let's get this up in the air. So it's over the top. Ooh. And there it goes. Even the PTO engages when it's unloading. That's so cool. I like the realism on that. Mm. I didn't want to put the whole load in there. Oh, yeah, yeah. I want to do half and half. I got to keep an eye on the, uh, the level here. So once that gets to, like, 50%, we'll put the other half. Or no, never mind. It's got two... Never mind. It's got two uh, sections to it, so it's all good. That trailer isn't on console. No. No. That's not even on the mod hub. You like my hat? Well, thank you very much. I got all kinds of hats. Look at this hat. That's one of my favorites right there. Got that one. Got this one. Yeah, I got them all. Well, no, I don't got them all, but I got a bunch. All the different brands. I still need New Holland. And uh, I got Kubota. Yeah. There's not many New Holland. Like, I even looked on Amazon, and I just, like, Googled, like, New Holland hats. There's not really a good selection of New Holland hats out in the world, I came to find out. Maybe there's just not many New Holland hats, period. All right, so we got the uh, one section unloaded. Now we'll feed the other pig fattening barn over here with the uh, rear end of the trailer. Put a 
lined up the best we can here. Try not to get stuck in the mud. Ah! So we can fit 18,000 liters in each hopper. So that's what each each uh, barn's getting, 18,000 liters of soybean each. No way I'm cutting that back in without falling off. You need another hat? No, no, I didn't mean that. No, look, seriously, anybody, look out there and you'll see there's just not many New Holland options. Uh, they just must not be big on making apparel for them, their, their own brand or something. There's like some, but nothing like the other brands. <clears throat> that truck looks like it has a thermometer in its butt. That truck looks like it has a thermometer in it. Oh, in the, the end of the trailer. <laughs> Yeah, that's the, uh, the, the pipe. All right, now if I switch to the other, yep, there we go. All right, we'll let that do its thing. Take a little bit, we'll go uh, check on the pigs, make sure they're happy and having a blast. Sure they are. You guys happy or what? Yeah, we got 61 um, hogs in this barn and then another 61 on the other side. Uh, let's see. I have an X9 in real life. I thought pigs needed some kind of root crop like potatoes. I didn't know you could just use soybeans. Uh, this map is letting me give them just soybeans and it's giving them 100% health. But uh, in the base game farm sim, they do want you to feed them, like, a little bit of everything. And I usually get lazy on the base game maps and just give them pig feed. I'll buy the pig feed. I have a New Holland dealership 15 minutes from my house. I should go look one day. You should. Uh, John, what do you say? <clears throat> Tough night. We had to live unload off the trailer, drag the stuff to a pick, and then unload it to the garage. An auger would work for the pig food if you don't have the proper feed trailer. That trailer is used for fertilizer usually. Yeah. I had the other trailer and I must have accidentally deactivated it. Which kinda sucks. Because it had the it had a way more extended option for the pipe. This one doesn't. I can't remember where I got the other one. But it had like a pipe going along the whole side of the trailer and it would extend and it was perfect. It worked so good. But uh, yeah, I don't know where it went. So. All right, and there you go. Our pigs are looking good. Say bye-bye pigs. So now if I look in my pig menu each house should have the same amount. These guys have 30,000 liters. And don't worry about the red. Uh, right here it tells you they only need 7,300 per month. So that's enough to last them for like three months, four months. Yeah, they can go four months without me feeding them again. And each section has the same exact amount. Man, doesn't that soybean look awesome? Oh, I love that. Seeing all the rows. Ready. You have it, Bradley? Oh, you have that trailer that I'm talking about? I did search for New Holland Hat and I found a lot. No, you didn't. This map works fine. Yes, it does. Good. That's a clean pig sty. Must have hired a good poop shoveler. Only the best. I got Mr. Fire Slaying in there. He keeps that thing in mint condition. He just gets out his fire hose and pressure washes the whole place every night. 
Uh, would you like me to send you that trailer in Discord? If it's the one I'm thinking it is, sure. Yeah, it looks similar to this one, minus the atoms. And I think it holds a lot more than this, too. And like I said, the pipe, the auger pipe runs along the whole side of the trailer on one side. Yeah, I don't know why. I'd, I, every once in a while, I like, clean out all the mods I have. I like clean out ones I don't think I'm going to use, and I must have just accidentally deactivated that for some reason. Because I think I used that. I know I used that trailer when Stevenson and Gumby and I were on. Uh, oh, crap. What was the name of that map? Hannah. Hannah, Indiana. The Hannah map. I remember we had that trailer on there. Because that's how I fed the pigs on that map. Yep, yep, yep. <clears throat> Taco soup for dinner. Ooh, that sounds pretty good. Do you put the little tortillas in there? Crunch them up and put them on top? Oh, yeah. Amazon has a lot of hats, even vintage ones. Really? For New Holland. Because when I looked... I saw like maybe five or six and that was it. I did not see a large variety. Huh. And I typed in New Holland. That's weird. Uh, Dow Family Farm. I ain't ignoring it. I just can't read every single comment, buddy. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't I don't know what you said. I'm sorry. I, I can't I really can't read every single comment. I try my best though. Uh, what's up, Oregon Trees Gaming? What's up, brother? We were talking about you a little bit ago, Oregon Trees. Uh, we were talking about the, uh, the, uh, what the heck were we talking about? The, uh, the sticks that you guys use for forestry. Yes, yes. Fire Slain was the poop man on Westby. Yeah. He overdid it on Westby. He had, like, all these cow, he had that massive cow operation in the middle of the map where there's, like, what is there, like four or five massive warehouses full of cows? Not warehouses, but it looked like a warehouse. Yeah, he overdid it a little bit on that one. I'm looking at the farm and founder America blue and white hat. Oh, that's a nice one. Uh, does the ethanol show up in the price menu for you on this map? The ethanol? Uh, let me see here. I don't think you sell the ethanol. It's just called an ethanol plant. I don't think you you just uh, sell your corn. I mean, that's what I thought. You just sell the dried corn there, right? <clears throat> uh, I think this is anhyd. Yeah, that's the anhydrous. Yeah, I don't see anything about ethanol. I know it's called the ethanol plant. And I'm pretty sure you just deliver st I don't know. Can you own it? I haven't even looked to see if you can own the ethanol plant. I just... I'm going to end up just selling my corn, my dried corn over there when the price is right. But yeah, I'm not sure. Not sure on that one. Yeah, I think it's a sell point only, but I don't know for sure. I'm sure, I'm sure someone in the chat does. All right, so once we get back to the farm, I got this big mama field to my right that needs the uh, anhydrous application cultivation process. So that'll be our next chore to do once we get this thing back to the house. A hat for 40... Yeah, I... I... I ain't paying no $50 for a hat. That's crazy, bruh. Whew. Yeah, that's a little crazy there. <clears throat> Getting a little bit of lag. It's from all that, all the detail in this map. 
Sometimes it doesn't uh, render in smoothly. All right, there we go. Spray her down. Good looking ride, huh? All right, we got the job done. Now it's time to head out there and get some more jobs done. You mean, you mean Glizzy? Frosty, you want the snow we are getting tonight? Not really. Could get one or three to three to five inches in tomorrow. Really? I don't need any of that. It's gonna be real windy though. It's gonna be real windy. Are you doing tomorrow? No, Matthew Walter. No. Coopstream. Frosty, are we still down to play Rocket League tonight? No, I don't play that. I don't even have that installed. What's up, buddy? Uh, Mario Ford, good evening. Oregon Trees, Thrustmaster T16000. Yeah, those are the same sticks I have, and I was showing everybody. And I don't. I never use them because I stink at it. But I was like, Oregon Trees is good at it. He's good at uh, forestry and all that. But someone was asking uh, how hard it is to set them up. And I just, me and some other people were like, yeah, a lot of key bindings you gotta do. But once you get it all set up, they work just fine. All right. That sounds so bad. All right, here we go. We'll do a headland. Get this thing fired up, make sure we have it on. See, it's hard to tell. Okay, on. Drop it. And it should be activated, it should be good. All right, back to anhydrous. And the fertilizer is dropping, so that's good. All right, let me see here. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, it's in a New Holland. Good evening, Tony. John Deere all day, my boys. If we could play close to see, would be in a John Deere. I live in Eastern Maritime Canada and there isn't much snow at the moment. Usually at this time we already have three to four feet. Last year each blizzard was two to three feet of snow. I know, well, I always go up to Ohio for the holidays to see family and same thing. It's usually always freezing cold and nasty. Well, this year it was like 50s and sunny and nice. Didn't hit any... Uh, bad weather the whole the entire trip and i'm fine with that didn't bother me one bit hey frosty i believe that feed trailer is by lazy e by lazy e oh yeah 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 the feed trailer yep is that the one bradley simmons is it by lazy e All right, so we got these little chunks of land here. All right. Uh, we got someone timed out. What happened? Frost, are you playing Rocket League? No. Nope. And you have a... I've, Mike Huth, are you still in here? I mean, Raya's Jeep. He got me, Raya. I thought, I swore, I thought it was you. I thought it was you. It said Raya's Jeep, and there was a picture of Raya's Jeep, and of course, it wasn't Raya. It was some other Jack Whacker, uh, Mike Huth. But yeah, it, I thought it was you. I was like, but you, you just don't know. Because Raya's community, they like to uh, change their usernames to weird stuff. I was like, so it's very well, probably isn't Raya, but they, he had me. I thought I really thought it was you says invalid link oh do i need to update the discord link all right my discord link does not work anymore for some reason i think they they expire after so long i probably yeah 
I'll try to remember to uh, get you a fresh link. If someone, if one of the moderators wants to, you don't have to, but if you're able, um, if you could share the link to Discord from my actual Discord to the chat right now, so at least there's a, a fresh link, but you don't have to, not a big deal. And typing it in isn't going to work, chat, since it doesn't work, so I wouldn't waste your time doing that. It's broken. I need to update it, I suppose. Well, I, yeah, I didn't think you would, but it legit looked like it could have been you. <laughs> it is Mike Heath. You know how Mike is. <clears throat> All right, let's see. What did Rhett say? Rhett, what happened? Why'd, why'd we mute Ohio? Did he say something? Oh, and I know we got some new people watching. Um, I am a family-friendly streamer, so if you said something inappropriate or cursed or something, I, yeah, I don't roll with that. So maybe something like that happened. I don't know. But, yeah, this is uh, not the place for that. And we do have moderators. They'll take it out immediately. So if that's what happened, then I'm sorry. Sorry, not sorry, you know. Hey, Raya. Have you ever done this? Do you know what I'm doing right now? Let's see if Farmin' Raya knows what I'm doing right now. Do you know what's happening right now? What am I doing to this field? Huh? What do you think I'm doing right now? It's farming trivia with the Raya stream. I want to see if his uh, his farming skills are still sharp. I think he's officially a uh, buried farm sim. It's in the backyard. He'll, we'll never see it again from him. <laughs> All right, let's see. I mean, Greenville, South Carolina right now, so I may be tomorrow before I get that sent to you. Oh, yeah, don't worry. If it's by Lazy E... I can uh, stop being lazy myself. You see what I did there? And I can look it up myself and download it. Yeah, I think that I think that trailer is by Lazy E. Uh, what that amnia you are infusing it with anhydrous? Uh, pretty close. Pretty close. Yep, pretty much. Yeah, it's just another way of fertilizing with uh, colorless gas and hydrous application. American farmers like to use it. I can get myself lined up here. <clears throat> and I also got the uh, cultivator in between. And then there's little hoses on here. See the little white hoses? Kind of hard to see, but... That's injecting the anhydrous as I'm cultivating. So I'm like knocking two things out at once. Pretty groovy, isn't it? It probably makes you want to play again. Uh, I put it in the mods link channel for you. Thank you. Thank you, Dal. Thank you very much, buddy. <clears throat> and that's for anybody, too, that is playing on this map. One stack Mac. If you have pigs, you might want to download that Lazy E trailer. Super nice for... Uh, Loading up those bins on the top. Uh, very nice. Very nice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. I think we're set up to where we can uh, go back and forth here. Some straight lines. <clears throat> there we go. How's your Monday? It's cold in Tucson. Tucson, Arizona is only 37 degrees. Wow. That's great. That's that's interesting. Wow. All of Lazy. Yeah, he, he does make good stuff. Mm -hmm. Didn't Lazy E, or correct me if I'm wrong, is Lazy E the one that did the, uh, the bales, color changing bales? Where you can give them the... Uh, you know, I use them all the time on all my farms where the, it makes the bales look different. Like you can do the American theme or the green edge. Is that Lazy E or is that someone else? I thought that was Lazy E. I 
That's a kind of a slope right there, isn't it? Struggling. <clears throat> that that was him. I thought so. Cool. You use an auger. Gotcha. Oh, like an actual auger with the PTO with the tractor. Gotcha, gotcha. I was gonna do that. I was gonna do that, but then I, I love how that one trailer that I've accidentally deleted has the huge auger pipe on it, so. Oh yeah, he plays this game all the time. Yep, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. No, I can't, I think the last time Raya streamed Farm Sim was when, when the uh, Platinum expansion came out with the forestry, the forestry map, Silver Run. I think that's the last time he's ever streamed Farm Sim. Pretty sure. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's the last one I remember ever seeing from him. I'm doing good, or really in the dark one. Hello. <clears throat> Uria says toxic rabbit. Uria? What's Uria? Uretha? What you talking about? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about there, laddie. Alright, I'll probably do the stripe effect here now that we're... All set up pretty good. And I might do one swipe this way just so I don't keep missing these edges here. We're having thunderstorms, having cold mix of precipitation next week. So you've been getting some uh, live streams in Oregon Trees? I don't think I've seen any notifications for you. But I trust me, I know the holidays are crazy. <clears throat> yeah, let's do one little run this way, and then that'll make it easier finishing this field up. I love the little airplanes. There's an airplane going right over me right now. Yeah, the zip line. I thought that was last time. That's so, man. That's like over a year ago. At least a year ago, right? Since Platinum came out. It's been a while. Who hasn't hit that like button? If you haven't, I might have to find you and slap your nipples off. So please take the time to hit that like button. It's mandatory. Not really. But I just wanted to scare you a little bit. Yep. Gotta keep your on your toes, you know. Even with this field being as big as it is, it doesn't feel like it takes that long with uh, this type of equipment, this big man equipment. You know what I'm saying? We got the big stuff here. Where's the twain? The twain is huge, right, chap? The train is awesome on this map. It's a custom train. It's a, it's super long. It's got the custom. Uh, it's got realistic uh, grain carts on it. It's sweet. Yeah, next time I see it go by, I'll try to show you. Might as well hit this section here. Frosty, did you play on Iowa Plains map? I did not. No. Oh, wait. Iowa Plains. Uh, maybe. I never streamed it, but I think I was on it. Maybe I streamed I don't, I don't remember. That's a, that's a long time ago, right? I can't remember. I think I was on it before. Clean up this section here. Y 
You did, Dawn. Thank you, Dawn. But yeah, just a heads up. Tomorrow, I might not be able to stream if I don't have any electricity. We're supposed to, like I said, we're getting like 40, 50 mile an hour winds. And my neighborhood's horrible. When it gets windy, the power goes out. So if I ain't got no power, I ain't going to be able to stream. So that's just a little warning, a heads up for you. But if everything's good, then it should be as normal and I'll be here. Uh, when I first saw the train, I was very surprised on the length. I know, it's awesome. It goes by quite often too. I just gotta keep my eyes open for it. We'll look this way. That way I can see it go by. <sighs> That's one of your favorites, Josh. Plow those grass strips so it's one normal field. Ah, I could. I kind of like the way that looks, though. Adds a little uh, realism. Some fields are like that because of the terrain. They don't actually go over it with equipment. I kind I kind of like that. No, I'm gonna leave it like that. You heard? Once I see the train, I'll fly out of here and go, we'll go get close up to it so you can see it. But you can still play basketball. Just aim 10 feet to the right or left and shoot. That's right. Oh, speaking of basketball, my son did awesome. Uh, had an excellent game this week. Oh, here comes the train. Yeah, he had like 14 points. Uh, he was on fire. Very good game for him. Here comes Raya. Stop playing Rocket League and look at the train. Look at that bad boy. Custom carts on it. And look how look how long this thing goes. <clears throat> it just keeps going. Not cool. It just keeps going, chat. There's the end of it. Uh, I can't count that fast, but who knows how many uh, cars are on there. But yeah, look at the detail on that bad boy. That look good. Good looking stuff right now. There's a couple maps that have those nice long custom trains on it. <clears throat> Alright, I think that's still activated. Yes, okay. Pretty re Isn't that cool, Toxic? Awesome, how many games left in the season for him? Uh, that was their... F well, he's, he's in an up... He's in another... Uh, league now that just played their first game. So yeah. That was his first game of the season for uh, another league he's in. Uh, run, Forrest, run! But it ties into your circuit breaker or some such for auto start. And that train awesome? I told you. I could not leave the MAO alone. Every break in the field would get plowed to maximize the crop. Yeah, gotcha. <laughs> yeah. For some people, it's like a OCD thing where they have to get that plowed in. But for me, it looks like some fields in the real world that you just wouldn't farm that area for whatever reason. Maybe it water sits in there. Or, you know what I mean? So that's why it's not plowed in to begin with. So I just kind of like to leave it the way the modder had it. Minus <laughs> all the... Uh, Minus all the customizations I did to this field. This was one big field, believe it or not. 
it was just one ginormous field. All those little roads I put in. <clears throat> yeah, it was a big boy. It's like a hundred acres almost. Yeah, we're definitely gonna miss a little patch over there. It says that. Yep, I know Avery. I know. I gotta get it updated, buddy. It's uh, it's outdated. That's all. <clears throat> if my insurance payout from the driver who hit me pays out well enough, I'll be moving east, and I'll be investing in a. Generic, genera, gen, gen, wait, gen, yeah, home. Uh, I just lost. Uh, might be a bit pricier for four thousand. A generator home. My my, uh, my wife, Miss Frosty, she likes watching those shows where they have the little tiny homes or uh, living off the grid type shows. It, she loves watching that. Like I ain't living off no grid. Maybe someday down the road, but not now. I wouldn't be able to be a streamer anymore. Yep. Living off the grid means you pretty much should give up all that stuff. Which I could. It'd be hard, but I think I could. Because I do love nature. I, I like being outside. Is this on PC or console? Con uh, it's PC only. And no, it's just me. Grumpy old Frosty all by myself. Nobody's allowed to be with me. I tried that. I used to do that, and it made me uh, lose my mind more than I already have. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, you make your own grid. That's right. Your aunt had one that was on TV on one of the shows. Really? That's awesome. Yeah, I don't know if I could do the whole... I could live off the grid. I don't know if I could do the whole tiny house thing. I need, like... I need some space. But the whole tiny house... Whew! That'd be rough. Yeah. And and we have lots of uh, pets. Lots of dogs. And I, I wouldn't be able to be cooped up in there. No. Gotta have my spice, bruh. Yeah, Raya's Jeep is excited that the real Raya's here. That's kind of creepy when you think about it. He's excited that the the his he's <laughs> he's excited for him to find out that he's got a stalker. Not Raya, Raya's Jeep. <clears throat> she sold it, so it wasn't what it was all out to be, huh? She sold it already. <laughs> All right, let's head down to the other end here and should only have three swipes and we'll be done. Right, let's take a nice big half turn here. Drop it like it's hot. Get the dogs their own tiny house. They, that's what I'd have to do to even make that possible, right? I'm opposite. I can do tiny house, but need technology and connected. Uh, Kevin Flores, thank you for the ten dollar super chat. It says, hope you and your family make it through the storms unscathed tomorrow. Do y'all have tornado shelters near you? I don't know. We'll probably just hang out in the bathroom together. I don't know. I'm sure there, yeah, there's probably some type of shelter, but I, yeah, 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 we'll just have to see how, how bad it gets. Uh, what else did you say? What's the worst storm you've ever driven through? Um, I was definitely like a whiteout. It was a blizzard uh, in the middle of the night, Pennsylvania. 
back when I was a truck driver, uh, going through like Wilkesbury I-81 is has nasty. And I kept going though. I, I I never was the type to pull over. I just kept trugging through it slowly. Yeah, that was pretty bad. That was probably the worst I ever dro drove through. And I couldn't tell you how long. I don't. I can't even remember when that was. But it was not good. It was very icy and very white. I could not see. It's kind of scary. Ah. Right. We'll uh, hit that little smidgen back there. And then we'll get lined up perfect. This is a little awkward, but I'm hoping we can move past time since we have a lot of them. Same. For, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, just as long as you know you're a weirdo. That's all. That's all that matters. Just own it. Accept it. Be happy about it. Yep. I'm a weirdo. It's all good now, bro. I need. Technology is a scary phrase. Yeah. Need. You're right. None of us need it. We want it, but we don't need it. You could definitely all live off the grid. It'd be it'd be challenging, just because we're so used to uh, technology. But uh, who's the oldest person in the chat? Oh, that's easy. Kevin Flores. He's about seventy six, something like that. Yep, Mister Questionnaire. No, I'm not sure who the oldest is. Uh, I love having this YouTube premium discord gave me you, know, you like that uh, Alaskan bush people thank you Kevin again for the uh, $10 super chat buddy appreciate you Mike we are done with the anhydrous I can fold this thing up and we're done with it finally all the fields have been taken care of and all the fields are ready. Oh crap, I forgot all about the one that was cultivating the uh, plowed field, dang it. I could have had him working on the other one. This whole time he's probably just been done. I'll have to go check on him. So for all those darn fields we did, that was about uh, close to 100 acres. We only used 24% of the amount of anhydrous that was in these tanks. So it goes a long way. It doesn't give you like full fertilizer, but it gives you a start. So when you go to fertilize after the crop, you're not using as much liquid fertilizer. That's pretty crazy, bruh. It didn't really use much, you know what I'm saying? Oh, why am I even wasting time spraying this? Got more important things. Gotta go find this hired worker. He's probably way... Yep, he's way down here. He did a good job. He missed some spots, but overall he did a good job. Yes, sir. Field looks fresh. Got a few little patches that need cleaned up, though. So we'll just be the cleanup crew. Go around and hit all the mess ups. a little mess up. Uh, cross me in you so far. It's not bad when the snow banks touches the hydro lines. Uh, scariest driving I've done was in LA when it was raining. No one knows how to drive in the rain in California. Really?
Yeah, I think all the pieces we're going to be hitting are because they missed. It's part of the headland that I did. So there's going to be all these little chunks we got to go over. But it's all going to be in one row, so it won't be too bad. Happy birthday. Oh, next Monday. Huh? Gonna be 43, huh? Getting a little up there, aren't you there, driver? <clears throat> this here's the big 4-0 for me. What tractor is that? Uh, it's a Challenger. Yep, good old Challenger. Oh, that's another hat I don't have, a Challenger hat. Challenger and New Holland. All right, let's just, yep, I figured there'd be missed spots up here as well. Just wait 14 days. My birthday's next Monday. Yeah, Challenger. Yep. Dang it. So it was almost perfect, except for all these little chunks on the edge of the headland. But other than that, looks good. I love that texture, man. That looks smooth. Good old seed bed ready for some planting. Final stretch. Got one little piece here, one there, and one up there, and that'll be it. Be all smooth and ready. That should do it. One little speck. That looks good, man. Looks fresh. Still got two more to do, but I ain't doing them tonight. You just needed a Nagco hat frosty. Same thing, really. True. I got my Alice hats. So that'll that'll cover the Agco, I guess. That'll be good enough. Right. Shut her down. Yeah, look how nice that looks. All right. Get this sprayed down. All right, so next time we're on this map, we're probably going to plant. We're going to plant or drill uh, crops into most of these fields. And then, depending on how much of that we can complete, we'll uh, put lime and the final application of fertilizer, which we got a big self-propelled fertilizer. So that won't take long at all. <clears throat> but uh, that is going to wrap things up for the night. Uh, thank you so much, as always, for watching. Hope you enjoyed some good old farming on Tahitian County. Uh, once again, this is this map is by DR Modding, and he's got his own itch.io website, DR Modding itch.io. I think is how you would look. At, just Google it; you'll you'll find it. DR like doctor, DR Modding, and uh, excellent map. I like it. I like it a lot. Not 100% sure if there'll be a stream tomorrow, depending on the uh, weather. So if the electric goes out, then I won't be here. But I hope to be here. So, And we might be here again on this map, or I might play something else. Uh, a, a DLC came out for Car Mechanic Simulator. Nothing too crazy. 
uh, but a rim DLC. So there's like 80 new sets of rim styles for the wheels. So some point this week, I do want to play uh, some car mechanic simulator. I think we were working on like a Camaro last time. We had it like all torn apart and we were getting ready to start rebuilding it. I think it was a Camaro, like a modern, a new one, I think. I'm pretty sure it was a Camaro, if anybody remembers. I, I don't remember, but I'll think it was. So we'll probably uh, rebuild that sometime this week and check out all those new rims that came with the DLC and find some cool wheels for it. You know what I'm saying? If the electric goes out, you'll be off the grid. I'll be off the grid. You're right. Uh, good night, Ian Oppenheim. Elizabeth Sturdy. Good night. Uh, take care. You too, Causey. Dawn, Bradley, Josh, Rhett, Daniel, everybody. Scooter's Workbench. Dal. Uh, am I saying that right? Is it Dahl or Dal? I like saying Dal. Is that how you say it? Dal. Dal Family Farms. Dal. Uh, watch the community tab of the channel page for up. That's right. I do have a, com a community tab, and I I'll put a message in there. Yeah, I should be able to. Uh -huh. Thomas, sorry, Mr. Video on here. Hi, all the chat. What's up, Thomas? Metro, peace out, brother. Kevin Flores, peace out, man. Uh, thank you, Kevin Flores. Kevin Flores. Uh, Jim Wheaton, Bradley Simmons, Cross, and Nick DeBar, all with the super chats tonight. And we had a bunch of uh, membership anniversaries. Uh, thank you to all who resubmitted their membership. And Ann Baker, I believe, or Bradley Simmons, sent the gifted sub. Thank you, Bradley, for the gifted sub. <clears throat> All right. Uh, usually Monday through Thursday, Farm Boss. Uh, Monday through Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern. That's when the power's on. As long as the power's on. You know what I'm saying, bro? Uh, Fred Murphy, Oregon Trees. Peace out. I'll catch you all later. Uh, Thomas, this is called Tahiton County, Iowa by DR Modding. Tahiton County, Iowa. It's, it's, it's a good one. I like it. I like it. It's not bad. Show you the uh, what it looks like. It's it's quite complex, as you can see. It's huge. It's a four times map. It's a big daddy. So look how massive this map is. We spent the whole night working this area, just this area, and then we did make a run down the road right here to uh, feed the pigs. But other than that, the map is enormous. And there are some cows down here that I'll eventually maybe buy and get into the whole cow thing. But we're nowhere near that yet because we need the, the right stuff to feed the cows. So yeah, right now we're just pig farmers. You know what I'm saying? We're just pig farmers. But uh, I do hope you enjoyed the show. That's what we did tonight anhydrous on all of these fields right here and then we plowed a couple fields over here and yeah we got a big chunk of property that's about 100 acres through there and then over there's probably another 75 80 acres so we're working close to 200 acres total which is a lot for Frosty. I usually don't work that much acreage on a, on a map. That's a lot of acreage, okay? All right, I'm out here, guys. Make sure you smack the like button on the way out and don't let it slap your nipple on the way out, all right? Be careful out there. For those of you that are affected by the weather, like I probably will be tomorrow, uh, I'll be thinking of you. Stay safe, be careful, take shelter if uh, something crazy happens. And uh, hopefully, I'll see y'all tomorrow night. If not, hopefully the next night. All right, guys. Take it easy. It's Big Rig Frosty Game and signing off. That's it. Goodbye.